finals, but it'll be alongside a new candidate for him to fight off. It's Dane Warren up there as well. You've got champions in the mix in Marcel Chinchik, but Sebastian Joe will start the first race from pole, and it's a clean start from on the race down towards the first corner, a clean launch, but that just means that Dane Warren's going to jump straight into the slipstream. They head their way down towards the first corner. We look at Kevin Sicky in the middle of the pack. At the moment, it's the whole shot for Sebastian Joe. The attack coming in, though, from the RAG uh, of Marcel Chinchik. Yuri Tobin also having a bit of a fight in the background. Dane Warren is feeling the pressure. And let's see about those Williams cars in the middle of the pack. Sebastian Job's gone. He has. He is literally, well, he's flown. He is literally around in Curva Grande. And there's a gap forming. Certainly now Dane Warren up into second place ahead of Marcel Chinchik. And now trying to defend against that of the sensational Hungarian. Now, as we see him battling further back there, Johan Haaf coming together too with Erhan Joski as they make their way in towards Lesmo 1. And very soon Lesmo 2 now as well. Johan Haaf dialed into the inside as they bash wheels. Heading out of this particular sector, Joski tried to, uns well, certainly tried to unsettle in half right now and he's got a swarm of Williams cars queuing up in behind. Yeah, this is crazy stuff, like I say, great stuff from Johan Hart, but Jack Keith and Nikita Vizhnevsky over the rear end, Tara McCormack sorting out his start and fending off his teammate, uh, Jakub Brzezinski. They head up towards Ascari for the first time, and all 12 of them are safely on their way in this race. Joshua Rogers at the rear of the field, not making any progress. He remains in 12th. He's not taken account of any of the earlier drama. O over half a second, uh, the lead now for Sebastian Job over Dane Warren, and he is pulling out that margin. Marcel Cincic will be feeling that right now and the master of Monta will try and make a pounce early doors they head through the parabolica uh, for the first time out to complete the first lap time Joe leaps from Warren then Chinchik McCormack Brzezinski Toman Half Keithley Vishnevsky Yajowski Siggy and Rogers the 12 cars on the field there's our race leader yeah, there he is indeed, Sebastian Job. Now, the gap wasn't necessarily as big as it was earlier on at the very start of the race. Dave Warren still very much in the mixer here, as well as Marcel Chinchik. And I tell you what, Dara McCormack getting closer and closer to the back of the RAG now is Johan Hart again under pressure, this time from the Williams of Jack Keithley, who's trying to plump for an advantage, heading out to the Retrofilio, might yet find it around the Curva Grande. They're around this next right now, and the Apex Racing Team now donning the Mercedes, certainly for this incoming full season. They're going to make their way down now towards the Roger. Enter now, Jack Keithley. He's going to look to try and push and prod his way through. Did have a little cheeky look down the inside, but cut straight back in. Ops to stay within the slipstream. Yeah, Keithley, like I said, he's well into his wrestling. He's well into his touring car racing as well. No one's shocked by that. Uh, if you're into wrestling and stuff like that, he really wants to get out of the fight. I mean, uh, I don't know if he's still got his action man curtains out and about, but uh, he's certainly looking for a bit of a fight this afternoon. Uh, he'll try and fight his way past Joe and Arth, but he's got to keep his teammates uh, at bay. You can see there, Joshua Rogers and Dara McCormack have the most wins over the regular season. They're not, we're not surprised by that, of course. Uh, both of them taking multiple final uh, wins. Dara McCormack's were back to back though he's the only driver to have taken back to back victories uh, of those in the top though Sebastian Job, Dane Warren they both definitely don't have it Brzezinski doesn't have a win Toman doesn't have a win Half Keith Levishnevsky Yajowski Siggy they don't have wins either it is just Chinchik McCormack and Rogers taking top honours over a round yeah history could be well and truly made here at Monza as we're now seeing them make their way around Curva Arboreto. Joshua Rogers and Darren McCormack have the most wins from regular spring season. Darren McCormack is also the first driver to take two back-to-back. -back. That, of course, being the two back-to-back -back round wins that he took towards the tail end of the spring season as well. It was a very good second half of the season. Now we're going to see a Williams swap here because Jack Keithley giving way to Nikodem Vizhnevsky. That looks tactical to me. Uh, certainly no fighting back from Jack Keithley at all there. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Michael Preston will be right in the ears of all four Williams. I've got to say, he's got to be looking at this being like, I can't believe what's happening. I can't, be I, I can't believe what's happening. Uh, again, it's been fantastic for uh, for Williams Esports right now. Uh, I know they've had a little bit of a tumultuous start to 2023, but they're certainly ending it in the uh, in the right way, uh, garnering the right light. Decent move there from Vishnevsky on his teammate. But like you say, 100% that was tactical. Brzezinski will not be fighting his teammate in this fight inside the top five as well. We'll be allowing McCormack to get fully on the rear end of Chinchik, of Warren and of Joe. We've got lots of the heavy hitters in ESL R1 when it comes to our teams fighting at the front here. G2, Porsche, RHG and Williams all inside that top four. All with, with one car inside that top four. Of course, Williams have a second one in Brzezinski in all of that. This will be fascinating and I'm sure it'll be calm 
at least for the next couple of laps. But if this is the case for the final two, oh my goodness me, the fight we are going to get George Morgan will be off the scale. We'll take a look at those gaps. They're still very, very tight. Still Job out in front. And now getting close to Dane Warren as well. He might forego. I tell you what, there's a little bit. Uh, they got very close between Chinchik and McCormack heading through towards Kerber Alvaretto. So sit tight, folks. I get the feeling we're not going to be too far away from this starting to heat up here around the Temple of Speed. They're now making their way down the stretch now this time. Still Sebastian Job out in front. Dane Warren trying to urge closer and closer. Is so as well, but Chinchik looks like the threat. Has a look down the inside now, heading in towards the Reto Filio. Not going late on the brakes. Opted just to take a look. Did not plumb for a late move. Instead, coming out of the Reto Filio all in tandem. One by one they go. It's still Job on top, but Dave Warren getting closer, but so is Chinchik. They're all in the mixer for a potential race win. Yeah, I mean, Sebastian Job's looking for the perfect start to the season by taking the entirety of the point tool. The most they can take for around is 85 points, 25 uh, for knockout for the, for the knockout phase, uh, 25 as well for the semi-finals. It'll be 35 from this race for Sebastian Job as Kevin Siggy and Joshua Rogers battle it out over positions. We would never expect two drivers of this calibre uh, to fight over. It is the wooden spoon in this race and a whopping six and five points uh, between them, sixth for 11th uh, and five for 12th. The fight between those continues. Rogers moves up uh, into that 11th spot, but he's 1.1 seconds behind the Yoski. I suspect Rogers will be able to close that gap courtesy of the Concertina effect within that group uh, as long as Siggy doesn't fight him too hard. But these two will be unbelievably frustrated. But at this level, someone has to be 11th and 12th. And it's 11th and 12th, let's remind you, of 48 drivers, not just the 12th in this race. The 36th that have already been knocked out of this competition. Yeah, absolutely right in the Chinchik now starting to drift closer and closer to that of Dean Moran again. They were seeing the fight in the top three, could call it the top four as well, with Dara McCormack, who's still sitting on the back of the RHG Audi. It could all be undone with one mistake. That's all it takes as now we ride on board with Marcel Chinchik. You can see him at the bottom left of your screen. In, underneath there, you can also see Sebastian Job. Now, Chinchik giving up waiting, as has Dane Warren, who's going to be undone here because he's trapped behind that of Sebastian Job. Enter that of Marcel Chinchik, who's going to get his nose into second place. Dane Warren now trying to fight back. The first blood being issued here in lap five of nine as they now venture through towards Kerber Grande. In comes Chinchik. We run a ball with Darren McCormack, looking to take every advantage possible. He might get one heading out of the Grande corner now, heading down towards Roger. It's still Joe Bates in front. Back comes Dane Warren here against Adam Marcel Chinchik. They come together through this segment over the sausage curbs. It's Chinchik. Chinchik. He holds on the second. Yeah, that's brilliant stuff from Marcel Chinchik. It was a costly lift there. Uh, timing, patience from Dane Warren. I mean, he was very lucky that he didn't drop back to the rear of this field, but uh, it is what it is. That is Marcel Chinchik working his way through. He has the fastest lap of the race set. Obviously, he wasn't going to lift off behind Dane Warren. If you're going to let me through, don't worry about it. Thanks. I know you're playing a tactical game here, uh, but good sir, I am coming through. Let's see if Dara McCormack might well pick up on Dane Warren just here. He's more filling the mirrors there, trying to distract the Australian who has made some costly mistakes this ESL R1 campaign. But we could be looking at a very different Dane Warren uh, for the second season of ESL R1. We know he has the pace to compete at the front. We know he has the pace to take many a victory. We were saying this before we were racing even back in Katowice that the Porsche Commander team, they all kind of accepted that really Dane Warren was the fastest of that team. Well, he is finally starting to show it as we ride on board with Dara McCormack on the right-hand side. You can see that trio at the front of the field. Every time they battle, there is a risk that Sebastian Job is going to check out. He's not done so yet, but if you do that a few too many times, boom, he will be gone. Look how fast Chinchik is heading down the straights as well. Dara McCormack has given up waiting too. He's going to take perhaps a little look. He did, did take a look indeed, but we're seeing some more coming together here with Yuyovsky. And I think Johan Hart around the outside as well on the venture out to the Reto Vilo Chicane. Again, an untidy run over the curves there for Johan Hart, but recovers very well. But now has Nikodem Vishnevsky on his tail as they now head around the curve of Grande yet again. Here this time on lap six of nine. Only a matter of a few laps left in this final race before they crown whoever the round winner is this time in round one. Currently it's going to Sebastian Joe. Johan Hart digging deep here and now comes under pressure after a mistake. After coming into contact there with Yuri Toman as well. Enter now 
now Johan Hart and Nikodem Vishnevsky. Vishnevsky has got him through the first Lesmo. Stellar move, had to be done. Just too many mistakes grouping him to Johan Hart's race. Yeah, just uh, got a little bit overly ambitious trying to make his way past you know, uh, Yuri Toman and, uh, like you say, Nikita uh will pounce on that every single day of the week. Race lead uh, with just three and a half laps left to go. Still is being held by Sebastian Job looking for the clean sweep here at Monza. Uh, and at the moment, things are looking OK, but the pressure is starting to build on his shoulders as beta keys are being given out left, right and centre. Surely you're picking these up at home. Get them typed in over on the, uh, on the Epic Store. Let's see if Sebastian Job can hang on those three more rotations of the Temple of Speed if he can take his first victory. Marcel Chinchik closed out the spring season with a victory, won the spring season champion, had a bit of a struggle at Gamers 8 and wants to open the new season in the best possible way. He's going to be into that slipstream, George, and I'm sure he's going to do something into T1. Yeah, the Hungarian now opens up the door. Remember, he is the Spring Series champion. Now looking to take his crown again in the full season. Intra as well, Darren McCormack for second place. But wheel to wheel, Sebastian Job and Marcel Cincic. Dean Warren managing to withstand the pressure as Darren McCormack now falls into line. It is still Job on top. Cincic, he's going to have to live to fight another day. But on lap seven of nine, it's kicking off here around the Temple of Speed. This is fantastic stuff. Here comes Marcel Cincic then. He's not going to do anything into the Rogier this time, but look at how much that train just closes up. It concertinas up going through the Rogier. Fantastic stuff, but Sebastian Job continues to lead. It is definitely a train of 12 cars, though. Yes, there was a bit of a break there uh, between fifth and sixth position, but trust me, Yuri Toman's coming, and he is dragging the rest of the contingent through. He's dragging along Vishnevsky, he's dragging along Harth, he's dragging along Yajovsky as well, and then somehow it's still Keith Lee, Rogers and Sig at the back of the field. I mean, I am shocked that Rogers has not been able to make any progress up this order. It just shows how strong ESLR1 is, is once again filling the mirrors of Dane Warren. It's Dara McCormack as a head through Ascari. It's strong and getting stronger. We've come a long way since Katowice back in February. Our first LAN event that certainly did unveil the mystery as to the new wrench sport game. And now since then, we have crowned champions. We have obviously seen Marcel Cincic take the Spring Series Championship. We saw, of course, too, that of Maximilian Benneker taking, lifting the trophy at Gamers 8, as well as Porsche Coanda, as well as Team Redline taking successive teams' championships themselves. And now it's the turn of Marcel Alcincic again to star here in the final race here in round one. Sebastian Job still out in front, but for how much longer as his rear wing keeps getting peppered by the RAG Audi? Marcel Cincic looking to unveil a possible P1 in his favour as now we see them take the Rentafilio contact on the way through. They come together again and again, Dave Warren proving to be the thorn in the side of Marcel Cincic as they rush around the Curva Grande. Oh, I thought McCormack was getting involved in it then. They come round Curva Grande. There's definitely something happening up here towards the Rogier. The defensive line's being taken from Sebastian Job. Penultimate lap, penultimate chance into the Rogier. The inside line being taken from Dane Warren, who's sending one in. He's trying to commit to it. There's contact between himself and Marcel Cincic. The up and under being taken from the Irishman of Dara McCormack. And Williams could be working their way onto the podium. You can see into the eyes of McCormack there. He is feeling the pressure, but he's making the move as calm as you like. Bam, Dane Warren bites off a bit more than he can two and it is Dara McCormack making his way to third. Yeah, and Williams might have another car going through too, because it's a Kuba Brzezinski, who is now side by side. Seraglio straight now, lights up here as all the cars get to work here with only a couple of laps to go. We have got a lap and a half still to run here at Monza, round one of the full season. It's a Jakub Brzezinski, sensational move now, fourth place. Now going to the Williams driver, it's Williams third and fourth as McCormack now strives onwards. He's going to try and open up a chance at a victory but back comes Dane Warren. Yeah, this is it. There's going to be three for the race lead because everyone else is too busy fighting in their own squabbles. Behind, there's three wide as well as Johan Half. There's someone on Vishnevsky who has a big slide coming out of the Parabolica. He manages to catch it just ahead of the Frenchman. Now drops in behind. Frustration from Johan Half. But we must look forward because I'm sure Chinchik is going to try something on Sebastian Joe. One final lap around the Temple of Speed. The defensive line is being taken from Jakub Brzezinski as we head our way through it. Sebastian Joe looking for the clean sweep. It's the big send coming in from RHG. There is more to deal with coming up towards the Rogier as this fight continues. Warren back past Brzezinski. 
Tony as they remain side by side coming through towards the Gerba Grande now. Wheels on wheel, they remain in behind as well. Venture in Yuri Toman, who knows he has a sniff of an opportunity and a double overtake. He's going to squeeze around the long way round as they come in towards the Roger. He might yet get the Tiger line heading through this next day, but no, Dave Warren shuts in the door immediately on Kuba Brzezinski, who now has to stay in fifth place. Johan Haas going off the track as well. He's dropping places, but the back up of the front end now still brewing. Dave Warren under pressure still. He has had to be physical. It's been so demanding. This race certainly giving the best of these drivers to the forefront, giving you guys a hope. The spectators have been to watch, but here's the fight now for the win here. Lewis, take us away. I can't, I can't believe what I'm seeing. He can't do it up towards the sky. But Marcel Chintik's going to give it a go. He has to back out of it. And Sebastian Joe will continue to hold the race lead. This will come down towards the Parabolica. Is this not the best final you have ever seen in ESLR1? As we start this brand new season at the Temple of Speed, it is Sebastian Joe, Marcel Chintik, Dara McCormack all fighting for victory. It's going to be the outside line being taken. Dara McCormack on the brakes, not making it three wide. Sebastian Joe taking the inside line through the Parabolica. There's contact as the eye Irishman tries to make his way through. They come out towards the line, and it is Sebastian Job taking the clean sweep here to open the season of ESL R1. Job on top, McCormack and Chinchik with the drag race towards the line, and it is G2 Esports taking the first win of the full season. How much can you talk about this, man? I cannot believe what I've just seen, and it's fantastic.